Hello friends. Finally, I made a workflow for converting any kind of drawing with any kind of drawing style or subject to realistic renders. Okay, let me show you. Here, this is my workflow and I want to show a test to you. Okay. Now I want to load the sketch of a car. This is my sketch. It has many unwanted lines. The sketch is going to the control net preprocessors. And based on my experience, now I want to select the scribble and connect that to the output. So once that you are pressing the Q, the processing will be started with different control net models. Okay, you can see them here. And after that, you can compare the result and you can select the best choice. <coughs> really, I think it's very useful because all the time I was testing that uh, which control net or which preprocessors uh, can provide and extract a good result for me. But now it's very easy because only with loading one image i can see all the outputs from my different preprocessors and also all the outputs from my control net processors okay uh, here you have to adjust your prompt for example now i have a prompt a car drift motion blur and these are only normal prompts about best quality masterpiece detailed and add, just i added the sidewalk because i know that it should uh, show the car in a street with some sidewalk this was the reason and if you replace the sketch okay then it can generate new designs and again i told you after that you can select the best result because based on your drawing style each time different control net processors can provide a good result for you and it's dependent to you you can take the decision and here I am trying to show you the sample that how it is possible. And with having all these nodes together, I believe it's very easy to calculate the, and generating the rendered image from your sketch. Now I want to use another car sketch for example this one and also here you can see many unwanted lines and totally the wheels are not complete and it's really a raw hand drawing q prompt it's started and you can see the result In all of them, you can see some dust under the wheels because in my prompt, I wrote motion blur, drift, and some other key <laughs> words. And I think this is the reason that we can see these effects. Okay so now you can see and in less than a minute <laughs> you have all the results and it's very useful mm -hmm. okay 
The first one is Scribble and in most of the time it can work very good and also Linart is not bad but to get a good result from Linart you should have a high quality input and drawing a high quality sketch is not an easy thing. <laughs> so this time let me use a high quality a sketch drawing and this time I want to use the invert you can um, after spending some time you can figure out that how you can take the decision for selecting the preprocessor output I will explain that but it will take some time and maybe in Another video I will try to explain all the preprocessors. But now let me start the processing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is Linard. Let me stop the following. This is MLSD. And this is Kenny. Okay, all of them are processed. And this time you can see that the Linard make a very very good result and it is very similar to our sketch everything is very very similar and uh, the result is great but what's the problem every time that you want to get a very good render output you should use a very very good hand drawing and it's the key yes and also here Linard anime also it's very good but for this sketch I am selecting the Linard Okay, let me do the test with another sketch. This time, this sketch <laughs> is very, very rough and it's very easy. Everyone can draw <laughs> an sketch like this. And this time, I want to use the Scribble preprocessor. And for the prompt, mm, I want to use, uh, it's not a car, it's a truck, a modern truck, oh, excuse me, okay, it's a modern truck and Q prompt. Okay. This is soft edge. This is Linard. This is Linard anime. This is code doctor. This is MLSD. Okay, so at first I'm going to review the scribble and also I need the, the sketch here and I can compare the result. I like that. 
for the soft edge also it's good and <clears throat> the lines are follow the sketch for example here we don't have the wheel drawing but in the generation it added that this is the Linart and also the output of the Linart is interesting this time anime Linart cannot work for me and also co-adopter and sketch because this is completely different style mm, MLSD is mm, it's not bad but it's completely different and also the canny mm. okay totally the form is similar but i don't like that <coughs> and i prefer these options uh, also let me search Okay, uh, this time I want to change my prompt and instead of a modern track, I want a futuristic track. And Q prompt. So you can see that the output is more creative go adapter sketch MLSD Oh, <laughs> with this prompt, I like the MLST result. It's very fun. Also, the linear to anime is interesting. Oh, really? With the linear, really not futuristic track. Mm -hmm. And soft edge and scribble, yes, all of them are nice. And let me do one more adjustment. This time, I want to decrease the strength of the control nets. I have connected all of them to this controller, and let's see what will be happen if we give more freedom to AI. This time, the AI has more freedom to change and modify the design. And after that, we can compare the results. This time the can is better. MLST also is interesting. Linart anime. Linart this time with some more details and some more consistency in the form of the body. Mm -hmm. It had also additional parts, soft edge, and this is the scribble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see that it's possible also to convert this type of drawing. 
So please let me do another test with a different type. For example, this one. And based on my experience, again, this type of professional sketch hand drawing um, will be something nice if I use the Linart or the Linart Anime Linart preprocessor. I'm selecting this based on my experience and Q prompt. Oh, I have to change my prompt because it is trying to make a truck from this sketch. So let me cancel the processing. And also here you can see the output of the anime Linart. Yes, we use the Linart this time. So at first let me adjust the string to one and again change the prompt so instead of the futuristic track let me paste that here i want to keep that a car drift motion blur paste the prompt here and Q prompt. So this time the AI trying to generate a car, not a truck. <laughs> and with more attention to the line droppings because I changed the string and I adjusted that to the one. You can see that every control net will take about 10 or yes about 10 seconds only for processing and now let me check the results mm. I like the motion blur and the drift style <laughs> wow I like all of them not this one <laughs> the co-adopter it's completely different but I like that Okay, uh, this time let me change my prompt and I want to delete the drift and also the motion blur. And I want to give some freedom to AI to change my sketch. So I am trying to decrease this amount. So this time you can see there is not any motion blur or dust or fog uh, inside the wheels. And also it has some freedom to change the car shape. Linard, soft edge, uh, 
and Leonard's anime are perfect. I like them. Okay, let me change the category. And this time I want to test a building. Okay. And also I have to adjust the resolution because this time my sketch is in a square a separation and this prompt is good modern house exterior landscaping sidewalk and lighting so here I'm going to add them and Q the width was about 7 Mm -hmm. you can see it's going to calculate with with each different control net processor <coughs> some of them are useful and some of them is not possible to use them but I am trying to show all of them to you <laughs> okay and let me take the sketch here yes you can see the handrails window door and also we have some lighting on the building we have some sidewalk we have the landscape also here we have those elements with Leonard we have them Leonard anime <laughs> generate something completely different. Coded sketch also is not usable. Also, I like the MLSD result. Mm. It's very interesting. Okay, so uh, this time, at first, let me turn back the strange value to one and let me select one outer I have used the Linart preprocessor but I prefer to test the anime Linart because I think maybe the anime Linart is more clear to me so I have connected the anime Linard output to here okay and it's on Q mm -hmm. Okay, I like the MLSD. Yes, I like that. 
The MLST is working. Um, can every time can provide good result with straight lines. And for example, when you have a building in modern style, in most of the times MLST can help you. Also, the Linard, mm, it's very, very good because I can see very good consistency. I have the door, I have this small step, I have this two window, I have this big window, I have handrail, I have this wall, I have this window, I have the garage door. Yes, it's the linear, the output of the linear with this parameter is perfect. Mm. Soft edge, hmm? <laughs> it's completely different style. And also the scribble, also the scribble is not bad, but it changed the, this window to some kind of door. But but I like all of them, most of them. And yes, the environment of the MLS this time is very good and it's very creative. For example, if you don't have time to make environment for your rendering or other things, with this technique, easily you can create some good presentation for your drawing. Okay, okay, so let me change the drawing and again Q prompt. This time I want to generate for generate rendering for different building. Okay, this time I like the soft, uh, the, I like the scribble. Again, I like the Linard. <laughs> Linard anime. <laughs> it's fun. MLSD. Also, it's very nice in environment and also the lighting and atmosphere okay uh, and this time I want to do a test with another drawing and here again we have lots of unwanted lines and when I have many unwanted lines in my sketch I prefer to use the output of the scribble you can test all of them on your computer because already I did that and I spent many many days <laughs> So now it's very easier for me to take the decision and based on your experience, you can select the best one. Mm -hmm. So, for example, for, archite for architectural 
drawings and a sketch to render you can see that for example using the co-adapter sketch or linear anime cannot make a good result for you mm -hmm. the canny is not very bad the MLSD mm. again I like the environment and I like the lighting it's very nice oh, no no Linard perfect perfect Oh, boom, boom, boom. It's perfect. Soft edge. Mm, not bad. Scribble. Also, the scribble, hmm. it's normal because the consistency of the building is not very good. And for example, here I have only two window, but this is a big one, one window. Hmm. It's not bad, but the lean art was perfect. The lean art was perfect okay this time i want to make a higher quality okay so here i have also another uh, workflow or notes to generate the high quality image and i am trying to move this high res fix here and I will connect the conditioning plus to conditioning, latent to latent, and image to image. Start queue. Oh, also, I have to activate my sampler. Press Q. In this node, I am loading realistic vision engine, and for two time, I am. Uh, scaling up the render and with this workflow it is trying to add some more detail <coughs> this was my output in low resolution and this is my output in high resolution that is in processing and after about one minute about that i can see the final image in high quality mm -hmm. Okay, I have that. So in compare to this version, this version is very blurry and you can't detect and see many details. But this version is more clear and also more realistic. Yes. Okay, so this is the first time that I have created a complete, a really complete workflow for uh, converting any kind of drawing or any kind of a sketch to render. And this is the reason that I am trying to record a long video for you and 
do many different tests. Okay, uh, for the building it's enough and this one I want to test a portrait. Okay, I want to use the invert image because the line drawing is very clear and I have to fix my prompt woman portrait raw photography and depth of field depth of field also is very useful prompt because um, it can make some blurry in the background and most of the time it is very useful okay q prompt and start mm -hmm. Okay. This is Linart and again the Linart is the best. But also the Linart anime can provide a good output for us. okay 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 we have the results and let's compare them not bad but the hairs are not similar uh, again not bad But Linux is perfect. Linux is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. Linux anime. Also, I like that. Hair style sketch no MLSD no canny no okay I like uh, I think this time the lean art and the lean art anime are fighting and the war is between them and other processors cannot create a good result for us okay 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 so let me change the drawing style to something like this and start the queue Linart is 
very good. Okay. Soft edge, it's not similar. Scribble, it's not similar. This time, Linard anime. It's no, 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 and no. Okay, and please let me review the result. Okay, I used the output of the inverse image. So the AI exactly used this image. But, but, I believe if I use the output of linear processor, preprocessor, maybe it will be better. Because the lines are more clear here. Okay, let's start Q. Mm -hmm. This time, the linear anime is better, but I think it's tilt. The head and the perspective is completely different, but totally the form of the face is very similar. Mm. But the linear is very, very better. Yes, it's very better. Mm. Also, the soft edge is better now, but still, it's not something similar. And also, about the Scribble. Okay. So let's move and do another test. This time I want to use this drawing. And it's a girl. And I have to change my prompt. I want to keep the depth of field and just this time I want to write a girl and Q prompt. <coughs> okay, you can see that it's trying to fill the borders mm -hmm. this is linear yeah 
This is Leonor Salima. Okay. Uh, I believe that I have to correct my prompt and delete the sidewalk because it is trying to place that girl in the street and this time I want to add a garden and flowers And again, start Q prompt. Okay, I think soft edge, lean art, and lean art anime are the best for this kind of drawing. Okay, and also let me do a test with this one it's a dragon and just i have to write a dragon and q prompt scribble Soft edge mm -hmm. in our animal co adopter sketch. M L S D and K. Okay, this cripple. It did a very good job. I like that. Soft edge is very similar. Yes, it's very, very similar to the sketch. I like that. Lean art. It's better than soft edge. Like that, Leonard anime. It's very, very good, and 
it has a very great consistency no 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 again the Linord and Linord anime are the best okay so I I believe that now easily you see that it's possible yes it's possible to to convert any kind of hand drawing sketch scribble or line to realistic rendering and it's very very useful it's very useful and also still I have some more customization method and also I want to tell you about that <clears throat> Okay. Uh -huh. Also, I have one other type of drawing. Ah, uh, where is that? Wait, please, I have to find that. Ah, okay. I found it. It's here. Yes, this is a sketch. And I want to convert that to a render. And in my prompt, just I want to write a building. It's all. And for the preprocessor, I prefer to use the scribble. Q prompt. So you can see that it is trying to convert this drawing to something similar to a building. Some of them are useful and some of them are not useful. Mm -hmm. This is an option with soft edge. It's another option. With Linard. And the others are not useful. And let me please check the drawings and now I use the processing with the scribble 
but also we have the Linard and it's not bad to test uh, to do a test with animal Linard Q So easily you can see when you are changing the line type, for example, you are changing your preprocessor. After that, the result will be completely different. And this is the main reason that I created this workflow. Because for example, in less than half hour you want to create the best option and when you can see all of these inputs and outputs together after that you can take a do it and you can take the best decision And also I want to do a test with PDNet because here I can see that it makes some nice outline for me. Mm -hmm. Linear cannot work. Also, the Linear anime, co adapter sketch, and the results of the MLS is interesting. Oh, it's some kind of converting. <laughs> okay, but uh, I think the best model is a scribble here for processing this kind of drawings. And yes. I think this is the best solution. And this time I want to change my preprocessors. And if you don't want to see the outer processors, just you can select them and press Ctrl M on your keyboard so they will be mute so one more time i want to do a test
Okay, and now I want to focus on Control M, Control M, Control M only on soft edge and scribble. Okay. I told you sometimes it's good to give some freedom to AI with reducing the strength of the control net. So let me do that. And some more freedom. Oh, it completely lost the building position. And also with soft edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, about the prompt. Uh, let me add these parameters landscaping, sidewalk, lighting mm. okay. I'm sure that I have to increase the width mm -hmm. So with that prompt, it's trying to imagine these lines as a building near a street, including the sidewalk and other parameters and I can see that the soft edge also cannot work for me so i'm going to mute that and only i'm focusing on the scribble ah, okay uh, here i control the seeds with a fixed number but now i have to change that to a random number to get some more variation mm -hmm. yes really it's trying to use these lines I like this option. I think I have go with some uh, incremental number, and after that, it will be easy to find the seed number because every time it is going to generate a building, and after that, the seed number will be changed. And if I want to make a bigger scale, I have to catch the seed number. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the prompt, I want to change the width of the sidewalk and also the landscaping. And 
light it To get some more options, we can go here and increase the batch size. So I can get four different versions. This one is also is very nice. Okay. <clears throat> now I want to show you another option for defining the style of the building. Okay. You know that we can use the prompts, but also we have another way. We can use an image as a reference. Okay, here I have to load an image. And after that, in this workflow, I have to connect the, this conditioning to this prompt. Excuse me. And Q prompt. So, it is trying to analyze this image and adopt the generation with the style that I defined. Okay. For example, this time you can see it's a Chinese building in that style. And every time that I try to generate an option, it will be in same style as my input. And if I change the building style, for example, to something like this, it can understand. And after that, it will try to create a building with those material, that style, and something similar. And if it is not successful, again, try with another queue. And again, if you think it is not successful, change your prompt. Okay. Only here is the building. Mm -hmm. And finally, I am suggesting to decrease the width. So in that case, it can change some lines. For example, it can ignore this line and it can make some outer drawing with similar to this sketch. Mm -hmm. 
it's trying to place that on some other part because if you follow the perspective lines you can see that I am I should write in a building sidewalk and decrease the width so I think it's trying this time to place a building on the ground no cancel that again cube prompt okay and I think it needs some more width and about the processor let me check also I have to check the manga to anime And check that with scribble output mm -hmm. okay it's better now it's better a little Now I can see that it is trying to capture this style but with these lines uh, a little decrease and this time I want to change the building style to an image like this it's a factory you can see that it's trying to rebuild that factory style with this sketch Okay, and let me change the style to this image. It 
was not successful. And this time I need a different style. It was a great reference. Mm -hmm. uh, let me do some more tests. For example, this time with this style. Oh, <laughs> it's a nice building. So with this seed, let's active the upper scale. Mm -hmm. is the problem oh I forgot that I have to connect the conditioning from here the latent and the image Q Okay, <laughs> so you can see it is possible to convert this sketch to a building like this with this architectural style and this is the reason that I told you this is a very very powerful workflow and it can convert anything anything okay until the next video see you bye